In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a glow effect in Eevee with Bloom. Let's press Shift A to create a twisted torus. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add on called Extra Objects. If we were to create a glowing object in Eevee by using the emission shader, we would have to lose the primary material. This is how the mesh looks like in the default shader. What will happen if I use the emission shader? Please use Eevee with Bloom for this tutorial. Do you see how we have lost all the details on the surface of the mesh? We could see the details when we were using the default shader, but they're gone as soon as we use the emission shader. What's worse is the fact that we lose the primary color when we increase the emission strength. I'll show you how to keep the primary color, and create a glow effect around the mesh. Here are the full nodes for the glow effect material. This is the primary material for the target mesh. Add another material, and the second material will serve as the primary color for the mesh. There's one more step to take, in order to make this work. That is to use the solidify modifier with its material setting like this. I'll show you what happens when I increase the material offset value to 1. This is how we create the glowing effect in Eevee. Please feel free to experiment with the material settings to increase or decrease the glow around the mesh. I'll show you how quickly this can be done. We can also adjust the bloom settings to change the glowing effect details. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.